this is the harness bar yeah this is a universal fit we got this from amazon so um we'll be trying it out to see if it's really gonna fit or not but we kind of measured it already and it actually does fit yeah. this is what it comes with and these are the the parts and the bracket this is the hardware that comes with so our first step is we're going to remove this part right here for the seat belt cover i'm just going to pop it out like that and then we're going to remove the uh, seat belt screw right here we are using our half drive impact star socket and it is a number 47 so we just finished removing the seatbelt screw this is actually pretty long yeah so that that's cool we're now removing this star yeah. right here finish removing that mm -hmm. and we'll now fit this uh, bar right here to hold but we're removing the the star piece and then we're gonna replace it with this because the other one the OEM was uh, kind of thick so we're just gonna use this right there to replace it so right now I'm just hand screwing it in so after hand tightening this we're now going to the other side and do the same process we just finished uh, putting the bar this is all hand tight right now so we screwed it in here and then we screwed it in here all hand tight right now all right next we're gonna do the bottom part yeah. so here's the the hardware the spacer that that's from the kit that's from the kit and here's the oem uh, from the bronco spacer yeah. and then so basically we sandwich it so yeah the the bolt here is from the Bronco. Yep. We put the bracket from the the kit and then the spacer from the kit. This is the Bronco seat belt, belt. And, and then, then the, the star. Spacer. This this type of tool here. Yeah, there you go. So this is just a stopper right here. This is how our setup is on uh this side, passenger. on the passenger side. So first uh the we bolt. got the OEM bolts. And then we got the bracket. the bracket, and then the gold spacer, <laughs> and the then seat the seatbelt, belt. and then the OEM spacer, and yeah. then uh, the the star. The star. Here's the hardware for this, the the one that will connect to the bar. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this washer here. And then now we would have to uh, hook this one down there. Down. So for us to connect this, we would have to remove this panel. We are removing this panel right here. Mm -hmm. Finish popping this panel right here or in the front passenger side now. So we finally got this uh, panel out. Wow, this is a toughie yeah. right here. And that's where the uh, seat belt goes. Not sure if you guys could see it, but there it is right there. That's the bracket or the screw that we got to remove. This one that yep. we need to screw. Unscrew. Maybe yeah. We need to change the bolt to maybe. Oh or no, no. The, it's the same. It's one. the same size huh. or length, I oh, think. Yeah. I think it's the same length. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But this part. This part is welded. <laughs> so all you got to do is just unscrew this piece. So we just finished unscrewing this. Mm -hmm. And we're now going to uh, put this one in. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove this star. We finish removing the star. Yep. This that, one. Yep. That part right there. And now we're going to fit this one in. The OEM bolt um, doesn't fit uh yeah, this p this the bar here yeah it doesn't doesn't fit because of this uh part right here so um the kit has this one right here and this one fits perfectly uh with the bronco too we are using a number 16 to 
tighten this part here. We are now going to tighten everything down now with our tools. It uh, measures perfectly. Also too, you guys could adjust the bar to your length. So for example, if it's too long or too short, you could just, there you go. You could simply adjust it like that. Same thing too with the bottom. You could adjust the length. Like earlier, um, I had to adjust the length to make this a little bit higher. So I have space tightening this down right there. It's now nice and solid. Look at that, I'm shaking it. Nice and solid. And look at the seatbelt too, if ever you gotta use this. Uh, we are now trying to uh, find the, or uh, the right position on the chairs. The good thing with this bar is you could still lean back and scoot. Um, you could still scoot your chair. But yeah, this is as far as she could lean back. Uh, we're now putting the panels back now. Going to be kind of interesting to put it in the bottom. So uh, if it doesn't fit, we're going to use our Dremel. All right, we're Dremeling it. So we just finished dremeling this piece right here. Yeah. Wow, that's that's pretty wide. Looks clean though. Yeah. Push the panel back in yeah. or snap it back in. So we're finally done. We even uh opened and closed the door just to make sure that the panels fit again it fits perfect and there it is we now have our uh harness mm -hmm. right yeah. and the good news is um you still have space but you know we're, we're short people yeah. but yeah i still have plenty of space if you want to uh yeah. still move back it is the sparco four point seat belt right here it also comes with its own manual and it comes with this too just in case uh yours doesn't have a bracket so you can just uh, screw it in and buckle it on there the one we got is the one that you could buckle because mm -hmm. there's another one where um you don't buckle it yeah uh but yeah so we are now going to buckle it in the brackets here and then you just need to uh, adjust adjust it later right. we got it in here earlier this part right here now the only problem was this piece here was pushing the whole chair so now our bolts down there is now not aligned we had to buckle it here we decided to bolt it like this even the good news with this is you could still scoot the chair mm -hmm and uh the chair won't be in the way because this part right here is in the bottom and we'll test it out later and see how our uh, fitting is uh now we gotta do the top yeah what we need to do is remove this um hook right here we don't need it so we just need to unbuckle it here remove it from this top and then go down Wow. Then now we have that removed. That was fast. Yeah. So now we just need to buckle the seat belt here. We are now going to tie the rope to the bar. Yeah. So now what we need to do is put the rope down here from the bar. Go above. Go into the loop. Go out on the other loop. Now we have we secure the, the harness. I'm not going to tighten it yet because we still need to see how the fitment. So we just try to do a fitment test and right now uh, to buckle the seats, uh, we're gonna remove this uh, spot again because it's too short. <laughs> She's now doing the, the fitting on yeah. the seatbelt. The only hard part is trying to measure this part to make sure that it's not too tight or too loose. So the Sparkle name on your shoulder or your chest is not too low or not too high. So now we'll go ahead, try to 
go in. So we also put the um, padding, the yeah. seat, belt, seat belt padding that we have it from our previous um, seat belt, <laughs> yeah. which is still there. <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna just put the other one here in the other shoulder. But once you put this one in, mm -hmm. oh, it's it's like it's like having a pillow. Yeah. So I'm done with my fitment, and after the fitment, she is now going to. We're gonna just make sure that this is not going to come loose oh yeah so the the excess right here um if you come closer here you just need to put loop it back here so we need to uh, right there so that's now the lock there so now cool. that's locked now so now we just need to um, roll this and zip tie it. Cool. So I just rolled it all the way to the edge and then now zip tie, I go loop it underneath the actual seat belt, go in the middle of that hole and then Here and there. Cool. Then we just do now the, uh, the other, other side. side. Yeah. So we're all done. I know. Um. Yep, this this is the testing right here. This is so cool. Yeah. And uh, my fitting's perfect. Mine's too. Yeah. So go on the trail and like bounce around. Yeah. Not... <laughs> well, no, no, that, 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 that would suck if we, if we bounce around a lot like that. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to go nice and smooth. Yeah, but yeah, this, this is so cool. Yeah. So we're back here at Bear Flag in Newport Coast, Crystal Cove. And I got me their Bear, Bear Flag, Flag fish burrito. And I he got also got the same. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Man, she's a pro now. So when we uh -huh. remove the metal clips, or when we remove the panel, uh -huh. the metal clips that's supposed to stay here uh -huh. got removed. Got or, removed. Or got um, stuck there. Okay. Know,